Well, good morning, everybody. I am so excited to have a, a crowd of people here. Um, I want to introduce myself as we get started. My name is Melissa Warnke, and I am with the Alabama Retail Association. We are a, a retail association headquartered in Montgomery, but we serve the entire state of Alabama just promoting the retail industry. Um, and we chose Palmen to be the kickoff, or I should say I chose Palmen to be the kickoff place because this is my hometown. Um, I grew up here, graduated from Palmen High School. My husband, Adam Warnke, did as well. And so it makes me especially proud that we are kicking off our statewide Shop Alabama for the Holidays campaign here in my hometown. Um, as we get started with this program, I'm going to ask a favor of all of y'all. Um, and Annette Harris, I'm looking right at you on this one. <laughs> I know y'all are all savvy with your phones. And so if y'all will take your phones out and take some photos while we're speaking, maybe Facebook Live or Instagram Story, whatever y'all um, prefer. But help us get this message that we're talking about today out to all of your friends who are not able to be here. Um, because it is an important one for not only the people in Coleman, but anyone who is here listening. Uh, we started Shop Alabama for the Holidays last year, and we did that as our, as the wind is, uh, I ordered up this weather to feel like Christmas today. <laughs> but we started Shop Alabama for the Holidays really because this is the time where we are kicking off the Christmas shopping season. It is a busy time for all of us, especially for retailers and restaurant owners, but it's not just a busy time for our retailers, it is a very important time for our retailers in terms of their business. Um, they really depend on the support of people in their community to support them to be able to stay in business. And so Shop Alabama really is a call to action. It's a challenge for everyone to spend their holiday shopping and dining dollars locally. All of us here and all of us throughout the state of Alabama have the opportunity to create a really powerful ripple effect in our communities. If you spend money here in Coleman, that money goes to support your friends and neighbors. It goes to really support and strengthen your local economy. And you're investing in the vibrancy of your own city. And so what a great thing to be able to spend your money and really make an impact twice. Um, and so all of you here today, as you're out doing your holiday shopping, we want you to share some photos, share some messages on your um, social media pages. And we want you to use a couple of hashtags. One of them is hashtag shop Alabama. The other one is hashtag baby it's sold inside and I love uh, grammar but you have to leave out the apostrophe in the it's for the hashtag to work so baby it's sold inside because this is also about celebrating that experience of shopping in a store there is something about being able to go inside a store to look at it to feel it to ask questions of people who are experts in that gift and to be able to know the person who is checking you out who's wrapping your gift and to be able to take that home it's part of our holiday traditions to go out with our families and shops. So help us celebrate that. Help us support the retailers who make our city a wonderful place to live. And um, when you share that on your social media pages, when your friends ask, what is this about? Explain to them why that message is important to you and why you support your local retailers. So before I turn it over to Mayor Woody Jacobs, I do want to thank um, all of the Warehouse District retailers uh, for being here today, especially Margaret Ham. She's actually our newest board member on the Alabama Retail Association Board of Directors. I also want to thank the Economic Development Agency and Susan Eller, wherever she is, and then uh, Megan Bartlett with the Coleman Chamber of Commerce. She'll be hearing from her a little bit later today. But Mayor Jacobs, I will turn it over to you. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Melissa, and the Alabama Retail Association for choosing Coleman. That's a big deal. I know we may have had some lovely times, but we're still very thankful that you uh, that you chose us. And I'd also like to thank the merchants in this area and the whole area. That was this is you know this is for all merchants. Obviously, it just you know we just happen to be in this area. And uh, reiterate what she said about sales tax dollars and local governments, especially in Alabama, depend on sales tax dollars to to function. And uh, our schools also benefit greatly from sales tax dollars. So you know, everything that you spend here locally stays locally as far as that's concerned and help roads, you know, fire, fire, police, and our schools. And uh, this group of merchants, they're, you know, they're our friends and family. I mean, they're close to City Hall. I'm over here a lot, walking up down the street. I'm, I'm kind of all over town. And uh, we appreciate all of them. And uh, this has been a kind of a, a good success story over the years. It's slowly built market, you know, kind of early in, in the, the fest hall and different things, and we're investing some money in the technology. 
technology village around the corner and then there'll be somebody else and somebody else. And that's what we like. We, we like that growth. And uh, so let's say thank you everyone for being here. And uh, I'll, I'll try not to have a good hashtag for first of all, just say, uh, say uh, hashtag baby is sold here. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. The next speaker is Megan Bartlett. She is from the Coleman Area Chamber of Commerce, and we want to thank them for working with us today. I think all of us agree that our big purpose today is to support a vibrant business community. So, Megan, let me give some remarks. Thank you, Melissa. Like Melissa said, I'm Megan Bartlett, Director of Member Services at the Coleman Area Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. Our Chamber President, Leah Bolin, couldn't be here today. She's visiting grad schools with her oldest son. But she sends her warmest wishes as we kick off the holiday shopping season in Coleman. The Coleman Chamber is focused on many areas from education to community development, but none are more important than our small business. Small businesses provide 55% of all jobs and 66% of all net jobs since the 1970s. In fact, before my job here at the Chamber, I worked for multiple businesses that would fall under that small business classification, an insurance office, a local jewelry store, and my first job was right here in the warehouse district where individuals like Eddie Hart and Danny McAfee have gone above and beyond me, on their vision to take these, these buildings around us and develop, bring them back to life where you see the merchants thriving here today. Christmas time during my retail days was always my favorite time of year. The rush and excitement of helping customers interacting presence um, was exhausting but more rewarding than anything. These store owners and employees really did care about our community which I saw firsthand while working with them and continue to see that work, see that through in my work with the Chamber. The Chamber is launching a Think Local campaign which is designed to encourage you to, you guessed it, think local. We want you to think local for your job or career, your family activities, and of course when you shop. Because when you think local, and when you shop local, whether it be in the cities of Coleman, Good Hope, Hansel, or any of our other municipalities, like the mayor has said, your dollars circulate within our community. So before you buy online this year, think Coleman first. Thank you.